Something that's hard to visualize is the relative motion of two objects moving relative to the ground. Let's look at these cars. They are really moving fast along the freeway. But if we take out the freeway and the flags, and all we see are the cars, we can see that they look to be stationary. Now if you were to watch from one car window to another, the other car would look like it's not moving. Now what if they aren't traveling at the same velocity? So let's add back in our reference points. And now one car is going to speed up. And yeah, that blue car is really moving. Now let's watch it again without the reference points and just the cars. The blue car at this point doesn't appear to be going that fast. From the perspective of the red car, the blue car is only going as fast as the difference in their velocities. If the red car is traveling at 80 km per hour and the blue car is traveling at 100 km per hour, the red car is going to observe itself as stationary and it's going to observe the blue car at 20 km per hour, which is the difference in their velocities. Now let's see what it looks like when the red car goes faster. From the perspective of the red car, the blue car appears to be going backwards. And when we take out the reference points again, we can see that the red car really isn't going that fast. So in this case, the red car has a velocity of 100 km per hour, and the blue car has a velocity of 80 km per hour. Since we are viewing this from the perspective of the red car, we are going to view the red car as stationary, and we're going to view the blue car as having a velocity of negative 20 kilometers per hour, which again is the difference between the velocities of the two cars.